Now, since this is my vlogging channel, I thought I might show you some tools that I've come up with for videoing vlogs. Some of this has been on my other channel, but um, maybe you haven't seen it, so I thought I would do it again on this channel. Let's take a look. Now this is a windshield mount for a GoPro type camera or an SJ4000, which is what I have. Uh, this was $1.50 um, on eBay. And I've noticed that um, there, I, I saw one for $1.29, which I think is better than this. It has a different adjustment on the side. But anyway, I bought two of these. And here's what I did with it. This is a telescoping inspection mirror. Uh, it telescopes out different sizes. And what I did, my favorite type of glue is shoe glue. And I glued one of these windshield mounts onto the mirror. That gives me a telescoping handle for my little action cam that I can walk around with. Let me show you what that looks like when I put it on here. Now, as you can see, it makes a great holder for the action camera if you're going to do some walking outside and um, you want to film yourself, you can just hold this right out in front of you and film yourself. Now, it will also work for uh, a different type of camera. And you can also mount one of these very light point-and-shoot cameras to take excellent video. That's another good way to do some vlogging. And this works very well for walking outside, whatever you want to do. And I also made one that will hold an iPhone, again with the trusted shoe goo and a $1 case from the dollar store for an iPhone 5. It makes a great holder for an iPhone if you want to do your vlogging with an iPhone. And lastly for an iPhone again, if you want to vlog but you need a script, I mounted a dollar case onto a clipboard. You can put your script right on here. Hold the iPhone up nice and steady with this and do a little vlogging that way. So those are some tips that I came up with. I hope they'll be of some help for you. Uh, I use them quite a bit. You know, right after I finished the video on those DIY camera holders, I was in Walmart looking around and look what I found. This is a selfie wand by Sunpack which will mount a phone, an action camera or GoPro, and a point and shoot camera. It extends from 8 inches to 42 inches long. And this was $10. So I couldn't really pass it up. Let's take a look at it. Here I've mounted the action camera mount on here. And this knob tightens things up. And you can adjust it to where you want. Tighten that up. And you can extend it. And it will extend all the way out 42 inches. I don't know if you need, need it that long. Now, of course, this is made out of plastic, you know, so I imagine you'd have to be a little bit careful with it. It's all plastic, but um, <laughs> for the price, it's pretty hard to do a DIY and match this. Here's the cell phone mount, and that it's adjustable. Put your cell phone in there, quarter 20 on the back, and it mounts on this thing. Now that would be for the vertical mount. Don't usually take videos on a phone vertically mounted, but it also has a quarter 20 in this end, so we would mount it the other way. So mounting it like this, your phone would be horizontal and you'd be in landscape mode, which is what you usually take your videos with on a cell phone. Well, I just don't think you can beat this. 
Might as well forget all that other stuff I did and go buy one of these. Now there's a cell phone mounted on it. Works real well. And here's the action camera mounted on it. Man, I think that would be great. And then if you have a little point and shoot camera, it goes on there as well. <laughs> I don't think you can beat this. Very nice for 10 bucks. They call it a Sun Pack Selfie Wand. I bought mine at Walmart and it was $10.